Okay, well, in your book, you talked about that you used to carry a gun everywhere, mm-hmm. including into the locker room when you start playing professional football. So when did the gun carrying actually start? Uh, I started carrying a gun when I got drafted. So I got drafted in April 97, and I had a homeboy, Potato, shout out to Tony, uh, who got jacked, unfortunately, in front of his house. And he had a standard Yukon. I think he had some rims on it, but not too tricked out, not too crazy. And we were at the gas station the first time he brought it up, and he told me. I was like, dang, for real? And then he was like, so what you going to do? And I was like, what you mean what I'm going to do? He said, man, you about to go to Buffalo. You about to be out there. You don't know anybody. And you got way more money and going to have way more stuff than me by yourself. You better get a gun. Protect yourself. Now, he's going through his own trauma, and now he's trying to, you know, guide me through it. And I'm like, nah, I don't do guns. I never played with guns. My dad wouldn't let me play with even a water gun, anything. So I just, it, he planted a seed, but I was like, nah, I'm good. I guess a couple weeks later, I go back to Buffalo, come back, and I'm like, he got a little point here. I'm in this big old townhouse, and it's echoing, and there's no one there but me. And I'm like, people can find out real quick, real fast where I'm at. So then I got one my rookie year, that summer, before my rookie year. And I had a little 380, and I kept it in this little wallet. And literally, it looked like a wallet, and I would take it everywhere, every meeting, uh, to to our home games, uh, not our road games. I didn't go that far because we had security in part with us, uh, to the club, to the bar, with no intent to shoot anybody, no intent to be hard, a gangster, just the intent to be like, if you ever mess with me and cross that line, and for me, that line is right here. I ain't like fake bravado. You really cross that line, I'm ready. And um, I had it for like a year and a half. I started to get reckless with it, you know, looking at it around the house a little more. One time I shot it uh, just into the river, or to the water out there in Buffalo. Uh, and then one night, this guy rolled up on me at the club after it, two something in the morning. I'm going home. I'm in the car by myself. And he walks in front of my car and stops. And then he looks at me. Then he turns around, U turns, and starts to come to my, my driver's side door. <clears throat> I got a gun with me. So all of a sudden, I pull my gun out, turn it towards the door, turn it towards him, and was like, I hope this ain't that. And he knocks on my window, and it's 2 something in the morning, dark, and I roll the window down, and he's asking me directions. Excuse me, you know where so-and-so is? And right then, I start, I answer this question, start rolling, start thinking. Without that gun there, I would have just answered this dude's question about directions. With this gun here, it's taking my mind to a completely different paranoid place. Get rid of this gun. On the ride home, Use my little baby John Elway arm, yeah, to the water, wherever Niagara Falls goes and leads to. That that gun somewhere at the bottom of all that, and that was it for me and guns. 